aggressive. Be, be aggressive. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how to make my jalapeno cream corn. It is absolutely amazing. It's perfect for the holidays. If you love cream cheese, butter, jalapenos, and corn, you are really going to love this. So first, we're going to put this in our crock pot. 24 ounce bag of frozen corn. And then we're gonna do one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. Whatever brand you use totally works. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter. Some of us are great with the knockoffs and some of us need our brands. So either way works. All right, get this brick open. Just like that. It's a little bit of a mess, but it's fine. And then we're gonna use one cube of salted butter. We only use unsalted for baking. This isn't baking. So here is what really makes it, jalapenos. Now I'm gonna put a glove on because <laughs> these things are spicy. All right, so I'm just gonna take a few out of my jar so if you like it really spicy, like I love it, just uber spicy. So I'm going to dice these up, but I am going to take some of the juice just to your taste. And then I'm going to come right here and I am going to cut these little bad boys up. Just chop them. Whoo! My nose is dry. All right, and now I'm just gonna put those in there. All right. We put the lid on. We'll set our crock pot on high for five to six hours, and I will show you the goodness that happens inside of this crock pot. All right, let's take a look. Mmm. All ready. That cream cheese, the butter the jalapenos all diced up and then some of that juice in there. I cannot wait to taste this. Add a little salt and pepper if you want. Completely up to you. Time for the taste test. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The fresh frozen corn has that wonderful, wonderful fresh crunch to it. And then that spice of the jalapenos hit and then that creamy, smooth texture of the cream cheese just instantly cools your mouth off. <sighs> this is one of my favorite things. Betcha I eat the whole thing by the night's end. Mm.